Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect to RHL9 virtual machine in Azure Cloud. The process is same for 8 or 9 versions of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. I have connected to Azure portal, then click on this search box to search resources, services and docs. So search for virtual machine. Click on this virtual machines service. See, at present, I don't have any virtual machine. If you want to create a virtual machine, you have to click on this create button or this create. Both are same. Then select the Azure virtual machine. Here, the subscription that is pay as you go, which means it is paid one. I don't have the pre-trial. So in your case, you have to select the pre-trial subscription. Then resource group. If you want to create new resource group for this virtual machine, click on create new otherwise if you want to use the existing one click on this drop down and select the existing one based on your requirement you select the resource group next virtual machine name i am giving rhl9 whatever the options which ends with this star means which which must be provided or selected so next region select the region from this list it is recommended to select the region based on your location but it is not mandatory okay i'm selecting us east availability option it is optional so i'm going to keep this availability zone as it is availability zone see we have three zones by default it has selected one zone so i'm going to select zone one if you want to select three zones means this virtual machine will be created in three zones security type standard i'm going i'm not going to change it next image this is the important one here we have to select the rhl version so click on this drop down see here we have recently used these are the recently used but if we are unable to find rhl line so click on this see all images are see all images both are same okay click on see all images see if we are unable to find rhl line if it is not there here then click on then search here in marketplace RHL. See, we have different RHL versions. It is better to select RHL line from this list. Select Gen 1 or Gen 2. See, we have versions 9.1 and 9.3. See, 9.3 is the latest one. Select either Gen 1 or Gen 2. I am going with Gen 2. See, once we selected, here it has listed. And VM architecture, it is 64 bit. And also see here, ARM, ARM, is, ARM 64 is not supported with the selected image. Okay. If you want to run with spot discount, you have to select the checkbox. Next, size. Size means number of CPU cores and RAM or memory. Click on drop down then select see all sizes select the size that you require i'm okay with the first one suppose if you want to select this b1s you have to select it and you have to click on select but i'm going with the first one that is one cp one 3.5 gigabytes of ram okay click on select then authentication type here we have two types of authentications ssh public key and password i'm going with password here we have to forward the username and password. So I am giving demo user, you any user, but it, the name must be between equal to 72 characters. Then password. It must not be empty. The value must not be empty and it must, must be between 12 to 72 characters long. Also, it must be contain one uppercase, one lowercase, one number and one special character. So give the password based on the Then public inbound roles. Select the public ports. We have these three. Select all three. Then click on next. That is disks. Or you simply you can go to top and you can select the disks. Here the OS disk that is R disk size is default it has selected 64 bit. 64 GB. Okay. I am okay with that one. Disk type. 
see you have different disk types i am going with standard ssd based on the these options the charges will be changed and also see here delete with vm which means if you delete vm this voice disk will also be deleted if you want to create additional data disk then this one you can click on create and attach a new disk or if you want attach an existing disk you have to click on this one at present i don't want to can do this after virtual machine creation also then click on networking see this is the virtual network for this virtual machine this is the subnet range and this is the public ip if you don't want public ip you have to click on none otherwise keep this as it is otherwise click on create new nick network security group i am going with the same here also we can change the inbound rules if you want to uncheck any one of them you can uncheck but keep all as it is and click on next here monitoring i'm going i'm not going to change anything click on net monitoring click on advanced i'm not going to change anything here if you want to provide any custom data you have to provide here then click on tax if you want to provide tax you can provide tax on its value i'm not going to provide anything click on review and create see here price details this is the almost 6 rupees per hour for the standard ds1 then this is the summary of the virtual machine if you are okay with all these settings then click on create otherwise if you want to modify any one of them you have to click on this preview and go on edit if you want make this as template for automation you have to click on this drop down it will contain whatever the options there here that is useful for future virtual machine creations if you okay with all these settings click on this create button deployment is succeeded okay close this one also see here the deployment is completed now click on go to resource see we got the rhl 9 virtual machine overview also you can get the same by going to home then click on virtual machines see here we have the one virtual machine click on this virtual machine hide this one again hide this one see here resource group name status zone region and here the data will be populated wait a moment operating system see it has populated operating system is linux and it is rhl9 distribution it is this is the size of ram dns not configured virtual network name this is the public ip of this rhl9 virtual machine this is the virtual machine properties and this is a network information this is a size and disk information auto shut down not enabled see we have different option and also notice here in the top if you want to connect you have to click on this connect we have two options connect and connect via fast and then restart if you want to restart this virtual machine you have to click on this one if you want to stop this virtual machine you have to click on this stop button if you are not going to use this virtual machine anymore you have to click on this delete button if you want to refresh this virtual machine you have to click on this refresh so now let's connect to virtual machine click on we have two options click on this connect or copy this public ip then open putty if you have to install putty then it is free download and install i have already installed then click on this putty application paste that public ip simply just click on this copy to clipboard then paste here okay then port is double two that is the ssh port then click on open click on accept then provide the username the username that i have given is demo user if you are not sure about the username and if you remember the password click on connect then click on see this is the username okay go back close this one go back here hide hide then hit enter then provide the password that which we have given for this user at the time of creating this virtual machine see i have connected to red hat enterprise linux let's verify whether this is red hat enterprise linux 9.3 or not more slash etc os hyphen release 
C. Name is Red Hat Enterprise Linux and version is 9.3. If you want to verify the host name, just give host name. You see, this is the host name, we got the same one. Next step, we have to run sudo dnf update. This may take time, so I am not going to run this command. Now go to the Azure console or Azure portal, click on virtual machines. If you are not using this virtual machine and you want to shut down, click on this shut down. If you want to delete this virtual machine permanently, you can click on this delete. Why we have to stop or delete? Based on the usage, Azure will be charged based on the usage. If you want to use permanently, keep as it is. If you are not using this pump at present, you have to click on the stop button. So click on delete, then delete, select apply, then delete, confirmation delete. So in this video we have seen how to create and connect to RHL9 virtual machine in Azure cloud. For more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.